What's up, YouTube? Stig back here. Uh, today, we're talking about holy weaving and classic wow. All right, we're gonna go over first what is holy weaving. Uh, if it's a good choice for you as a priest and for your guild, we'll go over talent trees and then we'll grab some real life examples uh, from our latest BWL clear. All right, jumping right into it, what is holy weaving? Holy weaving is you go all the way down your talent tree in holy and then go to shadow weaving, the debuff in shadow. All right, what you do basically is you have solid heals. You won't be one or two, but you'll still be pretty top tier, and you keep up the shadow weaving, shadow weaving debuff uh, for your warlocks. All right, there's a couple considerations when deciding whether you want to do this. First of all, if you have to carry, if you're doing a lot of the heavy lifting healing wise as your priest uh, in raid, you may not want to go this. You do lose a couple things. We'll go over those specifically in the talent tree, but your healing will drop down from the spec. All right, if you have a Shadow Priest in your guild, you obviously don't need to run this. Your Shadow Priest is going to be taking care of those debuffs. And the number of Warlocks and the consistency of them matters as well, in my opinion. In Traffic on Fairbanks, we only decided to go uh, with a Shadow Weaving Priest, Holy Weaving, pardon me, Priest, uh, when we had four consistent Warlocks. Initially, we had two, maybe three here and there, but it wasn't really worth it at the time. If you take and add up once you get Solid Warlocks in, all your healing and all the DPS you've added by having that 15% debuff on shadow weaving up, your impact in the raid is massive. And that's one of my favorite things about being a priest. I think you can be super impactful in a 40 man raid. You can be the one priest that has a huge impact on the survivability, on the success of your guild and raid overall. All right, with that being said, let's jump into the talent trees. All right guys, here we are on the talent trees. A few to go over with you. Let's start with what I'm doing for holy weaving. All right, let's break down the spec and then we'll see what we're losing discipline. But holy, I mean, we've looked over these talent trees a thousand times. You know what to do. You're going all the way down in holy, everything you need. All right, and then shadow, we're going all the way to shadow weaving. All right, your first tier, uh, blackout. It's actually kind of fun to do blackout procs in ZG. This doesn't matter against a raid boss, but neither does spirit tap. All right, you do need, of course, shadow focus. Uh, you still have a 7% chance to miss. With Shadow Focus, there's 6% for your hit cap, and there's always a 1% chance for spellcasters to miss. All right, when we go over the BWL uh, footage later, you'll see a couple resists here and there where we have to fix it, but keeping the Shadow Weaving debuff up is not very difficult uh, if you're paying attention. So this resist doesn't matter. I don't change my gearing at all for Shadow Weaving, or Holy Weaving, pardon me. I keep it exactly the same as if I was full Holy. All right, there's a little bit of modifications here. We can do a little variance in the specs, which I actually discovered making this video. So, of course, we go all the way down to shadow weaving. When you're holy weaving, not disc weaving, this will not count for disc weaving. You have all your holy spells here. You do have an extra point to play around with. So what I discovered, I was doing VE literally just for fun in groups. That's it. These are, these are purely PVE uh, rating specs too, nothing PVP wise, all right? What we can do though, and sieving out of four to five mind blasts. This makes your cooldown on mind blast 7.5 seconds. You take two out of 8.5. It doesn't matter. I do it on a rank one mind blast on cooldown. We can put two in psychic scream. Of course, do our shadow wave, the most important part. And you can actually grab silence instead. So this is totally your choice here. I think silence would be fun for a place like ZG or uh, dungeon, something like that. It's really just personal preference, a little kind of color on it. All right. Before we go into our next spec, which will be disc weaving, what are we losing in discipline? All right, so your first tiers don't matter too much. Now, you do see this unbreakable will. I do see the fear resist uh, and the silence resist. That hits. All right, you'll see that. You're losing improved shields, not the end of the world. Now, this may be a benefit or a detriment depending who you are. In holy weaving, you basically don't buff. You don't have max stam. We have max stam, but you don't have buff stam, and you don't have spirit. So what I'll do in raid is I will buff uh, range DPS in fights where it's not the end of the world if you're losing that extra stamina. Uh, but you basically don't have the buff. The big thing you miss for me is inner focus. I love inner focus. There's a lot of huge uses for it, of course. And then meditation. All right, I do, I'm lucky enough to have shard of the scale on a priest. I understand it should be on shamans, but I have it. This 15% of your mana regen, you will notice that. All right, now in traffic, luckily enough, we kill our bosses quite quick, so mana is never really an issue, and major mana pots are, aren't too expensive, so it's not the end of the world. All right, this is my go-to spec. I love this spec. You do lose a couple things here in disc, but you're still gonna be a top-tier healer. Now, real quick, I will link these um, talent trees in the description below. If you wanna go disc weaving, 
you can, all right? This is your normal disk spec. Now you do see at the end here, you have some choices. Do we need um, crit on spell damage or offensive spells? For healing and raid, no. You can put it there. There's really nowhere else that's impactful to put it. All right, so I just threw four in there. You do have PI. You are basically 100% utility in this spec. All right, shadow, of course, we're just going to shadow weaving. This is our normal spec over here. It felt horrible to me to play disc weaving. Now, PI does feel good. It's every three minutes. You only get it depending on your guild once a fight. For trash packs, lab packs, and a BWL, it's pretty huge, actually. So you have a ton of mana, ton of mana regen, but you don't have... Uh, 2.5 second heals or greater heals that doesn't feel well and your flash heal for me personally didn't feel impactful without spiritual guidance and spiritual healing it hit for nothing all right but that is totally up to you now if you literally don't need to heal because you have so many healers this is just to buff your dpsers all right and this point or this uh tree doesn't really matter it's just my favorite healing tree all right if i had to carry the raid as a healer or anything like that this is my favorite spec overall holy almost all the way and then you go all the way up to spirit in discipline all right now let's go into a couple we'll go some live uh, from our last video well some live examples of this but typically what i do your best case scenario you mat or you everything's rank one by the way mind play up to five and then just keep everything up with mind blasts on there and it's just part of your rotation but let's go into this there's obviously different situations that'll change that all right all right, here we are at Veil. All right, so we're pre-shielding um, everyone. Combat is about to start. What do we do Im immediately? Rank one Mind Flay all the way up to five. All right, plenty of healers here. We don't necessarily have to worry about our main tank hamstring currently. There, we're at five. Max rank flash healing, everyone. And this is a juicy. We do. We had a nice 30-second Veil kill last week. This is about a 32-second one. All right, we just max rank flash healing. I forgot to move my prayer of healing uh, to one, which I usually do, so I had to click on it. We get the prayer, getting way too close on our debuff here. We get lucky with the mind flay, no resist there. All right, this is a weak ore right here, which you see throughout all the video. Boom, nice kill. All right, Broodler, a little different. So in movement, we're gonna use rank one Shadow Word Pain to get our debuff up. Right here, we shield the main tank. You only shield your main tank if you want it. If he wants it, pardon me. Using our weak ore over here. Now we let Ham get low. What we should have done next time, instead of just spamming rank one Shadow Word Pain as we moved, get a Shadow Word Pain up, heal the tank, and then back to Shadow Word Pain as we finish getting in position. All right, right after this all goes down, all we do is our regular rotation. We're spamming healing, and then every time Mind Blast right down here is off cooldown, we'll hit that on the boss. The reason we do it on cooldown, my cooldown is a 7.5 second cooldown. So if it resists, you have seven and a half seconds to get in position and get a mind fly off. All right. All right. Now, last example we're going to do is Neff. Now, this is a little different because just uh, one of the shamans and I head over to heal the main tank while he gets aggro on Neff. And everyone's still moving over from killing the initial adds. So I'm definitely going to heal before I threw a quick sh uh, shadow protection on the tank, which should have been on beforehand. Now, here's probably where I could have been spamming heals, throwing in a mind blast here and there. All right, here's where I go to my mind flays, spam mind flays all the way up to five. I think I could have been throwing in a couple mind blasts beforehand, and this would have gotten up faster. All right, now that we have our five stacks of shadow weaving, which is our regular rotation, spam heal whoever we want, and then mind blast on cooldown. And that is it, my friends. Thank you for watching the video. Any comments you have, feel free to throw them down below. I'd love it if you subscribed. I'd love it if you liked the video as well. If you liked it, if you don't like it, feel free to don't like it as well. All right. Holy Weaving, I really enjoy. All you got to do for you as a priest, ask those questions. Do you want to do the spec? Does that sound enjoyable to you? Is it going to be impactful in your raid? If it is, boom, I'd highly recommend it. All right. Guys, stay tuned. Back with another video soon. See ya.